Hey guys, quick back to basics here. Let's talk about centrifuge. Centrifuge is a machine that uses centrifugal force to separate various components present in the liquid sample. Centrifugal force is a force that pushes the object away from the rotating axis. In centrifuge, the centrifugal force is usually applied by spinning the liquid sample at high rotational speed. This rotational speed is usually indicated as RPM, which stands for number of rotations per minute. Depending on the RPM, the centrifuges can be classified into several types. Low speed centrifuge are the one that operates at 4000 to 5000 RPM. High speed centrifuge can operate at maximum 15000 to 20000 RPM and are commonly used in most of the labs involved in research. On the other hand, ultracentrifuge can operate at maximum 65,000 to 80,000 RPM or even more. Ultracentrifuge is a sophisticated instrument which is operated in vacuum along with refrigeration to control the heat generated at such high RPM. Ok, now let's talk about the rotors used in centrifuge. The rotors used in centrifuge are mostly of three types. Fixed angle rotors. As the name suggests, these rotors will hold the tube at a fixed angle which is usually 45 degrees. Swinging bucket rotors. In this type of rotors, the centrifuge tubes are placed in a holder which is attached with a hinge. Initially, the tubes are vertical. When the centrifuge is switched on, the centrifuge tube attains horizontal position. Because of this, the path length traveled by the particles is maximum. The particles also take long time to settle as it travels from the top to the bottom of the tube. Vertical rotors. As the name suggests, the centrifuge tubes are held in vertical position. Here, the path length traveled by the particle is minimum as they are moving from one side of the tube to other and not from the top to bottom. The particles are usually accumulated on the side of the tube. Now let's see the factors affecting centrifugation. It must be noted that dense particles sediment fast as compared to less dense particles. If the liquid in the centrifuge tube is dense, then the particles will move slowly. And higher the centrifugal force, faster the particles will sediment. 